Now it's time for our door busters. We'll give you a couple blind resumes from a couple edge defenders, and we're going to go back to 2016 and compare one of this year's prospects with one of last year's prospects. And you guys can play along at home. We have prospect A and prospect B. The only hint I'll give you, prospect B was drafted last year, one of the top draft picks mm. last year. Prospect A, one of the guys we've talked about quite a bit that we're really high on. And when you look at the breakdown, prospect A with 18 sacks, 7 QB hits, 44 hurries, an incredible season in 2016. And it looks just as good, if not better, than prospect B's 9, 15, and 29. And when we reveal them, it is pretty revealing. And we see in door A, it is Harold Landry, the guy who's sitting atop our edge defender board right now. But B is Miles Garrett, who is the consensus top pick in the draft last year, the top edge defender. Should we be even higher on Landry when we see these numbers and just how good he was in 2016? Yeah, if he would have come out a season ago after his junior year, I don't think there's any question he's a top 10 to 15 guy. Now he's talk about him slipping out of the first round entirely off of the backs of a week 2017, but that 2016 tape, that's better than any tape from any other edge prospect I've seen in this class, and it's really not even close. That, like You compare that to Miles Garrett, he was that sort of level of pass rusher a season ago. I get the concerns about 2017, but man, it's hard to overlook. Sam, you keep saying about this class, there's a lot of guys where you kind of have to go back to 2016 yeah. instead of just looking at 2017 because there was such a big discrepancy. Yeah, and, and you want to dismiss some of that from Miles Garrett because he's doing it in the SEC, and that's a harder level of competition potentially. But so much of Miles Garrett's pressure in 2016 didn't come in the SEC. It came from him beating up the smaller colleges that he went against and really racking up pressure against those guys. So whatever you gain from the SEC – part of that component you also lose at the fact that that's not where he was getting that pressure. Landry's really does stack up against Miles Garrett a year ago. So you still have to take into consideration Landry's 2017 where he was a little bit injured. I think he got a little bit more attention from opposing offenses. But what about that high-end play, Mike? You said it was as good as any edge defender in this class. Is that enough to keep him at the top of our board? The biggest criticism I've seen is he's a one-trick pony. He just has the outside move. He's all speed. He's all explosion off the line of scrimmage. But the numbers sort of do back that up. He had 41 pressures on outside moves in 2016, three via bull rush, and only 11 via inside. So it was all outside with him. But when you go back and watch the plays where he bull rushes, where he does the inside move, it's more the fact that he just didn't want to go to those moves because he could be tackled to the outside repeatedly. I have a bull rush pressure here uh, pulled up where he's here on the left side right there, and he's going up against the right tackle realizes he's not going to get him upfield, and that throws him into the quarterback right there. That's special. That is Technique-wise, that is absolutely perfect what you want. The arm is above his head. That is, that is what you want out of an edge guy. He just didn't have to do it enough to beat offensive tackles. It's not that he can't do it. It's that he just didn't have to. And if you're going to start from anywhere, the elite speed outside rush is the thing you want to have. Yes. Then you can work on the rest. It's better than trying to go the other way around, a guy who can do the inside stuff but is never going to get to the edge. So you can at least challenge the tackle to the edge. You can win with power. I think he's shown enough on the inside as well. One other nugget, too. Back in 2015, one of our top-graded run defenders as well. So we've seen him put up one of the best run defense seasons, one of the best pass rush seasons. I know you don't care about the, the run. run. He doesn't matter. <laughs> but I'm talking about edge. You need to rush the pass. It's up. good to have a nice three-down player and a nice yeah. all-around skill set. So I think the big, big takeaway, do not sleep on Harold Landry because of the 2017. Maybe the best edge defender in this entire class. He might not really be Miles Garrett, but man, that production in 2016 was very, very similar.